A mother of three, Ajuang has been breastfeeding two goat kids since their mother died a week after giving birth to them. Before the goat died, Ajuang had hoped it would produce several kids which she would exchange for a haifa later on. What has worried medical doctors is that Ajuang is breastfeeding the goats alongside her one and a half year old baby. And the baby is forced to fight for its mother's breast milk with the goats in what Dr. Sabrina Chitaka, a specialist pediatrician, terms as sibling rivalry. The only trouble is that in this case, it is a human fighting with animals. The human baby is prone to developing malnutrition. You can imagine if a baby has to compete with another baby for breast milk, but how about competing for its milk with two goats? Although breast milk may be good for goats, the danger is that the baby could be faced by grave health repercussions. The disease that killed the mother goat could be passed on to the baby goats. One of these is brucellosis. Brucellosis is a common infection that can affect goats. Other things are things like actinobacillus. I do not know the serious status of this mother. If indeed she is HIV positive, with the strength with which goats suckle, they can easily put wounds on the mother's breasts and the baby can get HIV from the mother's breast. The alternative for Ajuang would be for her to squeeze surplus milk out for the goats instead of allowing the goats to share her breasts. Dr. Chitaka fears further that the mother could be mentally unstable. The way she was laughing, for me, it, it really bordered on a psychiatric problem. If you have a baby and another baby comes into the family, there's certainly sibling rivalry. But how about having sibling rivalry with two goats? That is certainly going to affect the child psychologically. Ajuang says she was forced to breastfeed the baby goats because she's too poor to afford buying milk for them. Florence Naluimba, NTV.